What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. I know I've been gone for a minute, which is two weeks. I needed it at the same time. I wanted to edit, but I couldn't edit reason being because of work. Work been on my ass for the past two weeks. I had worked seven days straight. I just didn't have the energy or the enthusiasm to edit these videos and get them out. I didn't do my unboxing video and I didn't do my last weekly recap for Human Made because the season is over for um, spring, summer 2021. So we just wait for the next season to drop and I'll be inform y'all on that stuff in the future when that comes but uh what else what else what else y'all gonna get some more content on my channel just besides unboxing because i've been kind of getting tired of just not tired but exhausted of shooting unboxing 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 and something different than unboxing 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 and something else very soon i should be i should be giving y'all a little bit more content reason why i say that i have more time hopefully i become a career employee at my job which means i have more time to shoot more videos and more time to do things on my channel there are some things that i've written down that i want to do for my channel once that time comes, which should be in a few more months or maybe this month but uh yeah y'all can expect some things to change on my channel just slightly change i'm gonna start doing more of the content that i told y'all i'm gonna do when it was one video i had dropped in december letting y'all know what to expect this year and i really haven't been delivering on those videos so when i get that time in to do those other like series that i said i was gonna do i'm gonna do them so expect those to come they will come but you already know i'm about to say like come subscribe down below hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you're already subscribed, just hit the like button, drop a comment if you like the content. And I noticed I got a lot more, a lot more subs since I've been gone for the past two weeks. And I've been still getting more DMs from you all that's new to my channel, asking me questions. I've been answering them. Uh, I had somebody ask me about, it was his jacket real or fake that he had because of the tags on it, helped him out, sent those pictures to somebody else to get like some more, like get an extra opinion on it. So I told y'all I'm gonna help y'all out if y'all well I'm I told y'all that I would respond to y'all and you know have a conversation and stuff like that and I helped homie out with that so I guess he's good now to go. With that being said, we got a long video ahead of us. I got six shirts and a lot more stuff that y'all do not see right now on camera, but I will be showing y'all piece by piece once we get to it. With that being said, we're gonna get right to the video. I hope y'all enjoy. I hope I do right by y'all in this video since I've been gone for two weeks. I, I'm telling you, I really need that two weeks off, but I really want to edit and give y'all some videos. But sometimes you just gotta sit back and get some other things done and come back to it. But hopefully we won't do this again. But anyway, let's get right to the video. All right, so first we're gonna do, we'll get to the tees and then we'll get to the accessories. And cause trust me, there's some stuff right here in front of me, like right here, here, and behind me that y'all can't see. So I'm gonna just pull, I'm gonna start with the shirts, then accessories after that. So let's get back to it. So first with the tees, we got this one right here. I'm showing this one first because you will see why in a minute, because I got a tee similar to this one and I thought this was dope. Like I thought it was dope when I first seen it, but then I changed my mind when I seen the other version, like the next week that they had dropped, they did they, they next drop after this. I'm selling this one. I'm gonna um, put this one up for sale, but if y'all wanna buy it, I give y'all a better price that I'm gonna put it up for on grill. So if y'all interested, let me know. But again, they got the Civic Cat pooping out those uh, coffee things that they be that people use to drink their coffee, which is still weird. And I'm trying to find out who came up with this idea to use that poop coffee bean and make coffee out of it. It's just kind of weird. But I thought it was a dope shirt, uh, new design. Well, not a new design, but like a, a upgrade or update, a updated version of their previous Civic Cat design. But yeah, this is one of my tees I picked up, but I will not be keeping this. So I will, I will be reselling so if you want it. Get at me. So next, eh, there it is. Next, we got this one right here. And if you all remember in my weekly recap video, I was talking about this tee. They came, this came in a white version, but I ain't like the white version. Reason being, um, those cut these colors on like like on a duck that pop like it do on the um black tee. So I decided to go with the black tee version. Got yellow, red, green, blue, brown, and some white in it. And it just popped way more. And, and it just looked way better on this black tee than a white tee. And on the back side, it says human made in yellow. I thought it was really simple and clean with that strip. Yeah, dope tee. We'll be keeping this in the collection. I probably, only time I probably wear this, I'm not gonna wear it during the daytime again. I stay in Georgia. It gets hot, humid, and if you know about that Southern heat, you know what I mean? You get sweaty and sticky. 
So I don't want to ruin it. So I probably wear this during like nighttime or something if I'm going out somewhere. But this is one of the dope, one of the tees that I like. They, they also put this design on the, they put it on the jacket as well, but that jacket was too expensive. So I'm, I'm not buying that jacket. And then I think a few more weeks after that jacket release, they came out with this design on the tee. So yeah, that's the second tee. We're gonna get to the third tee. And this tee would be the Moho right here. I thought it was just so clean. Just a clean white tee in this navy blue print. Uh, you can't go wrong with it. It just says human made with the duck on it. And it says dry all. Just simple, straight to the point. And on the back, it has a little seller's hat and it says dry alls as well. Like they had to do dry alls on both sides. They could have just put gears for futuristic teenagers at the bottom and then put dry alls like right there on the back. But either way, I like it. I will be wearing it. Simple T, not too overly designed, not too crazy. Straight to the point. Keeping this one staying in the collection. For sure. Ain't it right, JD? Yeah, there. There you Oh, yeah. He over there working on some stuff. And one of the tees that I really, really, really like was this tee right here. It remind me of Howard the Duck. Look at that. Yeah. So, you know, when I seen this, I had to cop this in a heartbeat. I copped, I copped, and it sold out. And uh, simple tee, simple design, not too crazy, not too overly designed. That's what I like about Human Made. It's not, it's graphic -y, but it ain't just complicated graphics on it. It's just, just basic graphics, just straight to the point, not too crazy, just very simple. This came on a black tee. I didn't like it on a black tee because it just looked weird. It just didn't look right to me. So I decided to get on the white tee and got black <laughs> text and you got the color and within the duck, you got the green and the yellow and the black. Can't go wrong with it. Either the style, if you can't style a simple tee like this, then you shouldn't be dressing at all. So we can go to the next one. <laughs> there it is. So the next tee, now this one, y'all know how I feel about the tiger more than anything. Nigo finally dropped the tiger tee. I seen one of my homies on Instagram wearing this tee. And I'm like, damn, I can't wait to show mine off. So I'm gonna show mine off now. Hit it right off. Okay. Anyway, and the, and the story behind this tee was really um, dope. I think Nigo got the inspiration from his product. I forgot what the like the name of it, but my boy, um, yeah, so my homie Futuristic Gears uh, had like a little background like story of this design. So I guess Nigo liked the product of I can't I can't remember what like the story behind it, but he posted a story like saying what Nigo got inspiration from from the design. I will post it on the screen for y'all to see. And y'all can go to the Instagram page and read it as well. Also, follow my boy. And uh, so I had to get this because it was like the only damn thing they dropped really that had a tiger in it this season. So had to copy, very simple, straight to the point. It's some shoes that I want to get to match with this. Not too matchy matchy, but just match enough to go with this. Um, can't beat it, dry all, can be made, bam, straight like that. So that's the 50. Yeah. This tee, we got a pocket tee. This was in a cut and sew section. So normally I don't go in a cut and sew section uh, of human made like that because I just go straight to t-shirts, accessories. I go to t-shirts and um, goods to that set, the old two sections really. And then some told me at work, bro, just go, go to the cut and sew. So I went to the cut and sew section. So it's a pocket tee, of course, right here. And on the front of that pocket says human made in a heart, but on the back, and the reason why I'm getting rid of that first shirt that I showed y'all, this one right here, is because of this. I like this one way more. I just like the colors more. Just that red, black, and white just complement each other just perfectly. Plus, the Falcons, my favorite football team. So we got that colorway going for it. And uh, it says dry alls and the side of the Civic Cat with the red beans. And it says gift for futuristic teenager. And I like this, like. Uh, cursive script at the bottom. But yeah, uh, I like this tee. We're gonna, one of my favorites. We'll be rocking this one a lot during the summertime. And uh, can't beat this at all. Can't beat it at all. I'm not selling this one, but I will be selling the other one. If you want it, hit me up. And all my tees, uh, there you go. All my tees I get is normally 2XL because they fit like a large to me. And I'm mad that I missed out on, on the Verde Human Made collection. I missed out. Calculated it wrong when they said they're gonna release on Wednesday. 
I thought it was gonna be like Wednesday here in the States, but it was a Wednesday in Japan, which is Tuesday here. So I miscalculated the drop date on the Verde and on Human Made collab. I missed out on two tees that I wanted and they sold out within about what, two minutes and I was pissed, but I was good. I was happy reason being, what's up? Right, so uh, I was pissed that I missed out, but I had a bit come up the next day, meaning some crypto, I did some investments. We're gonna leave it at that. I made stupid, I made some stupid, stupid, stupid money back. So I highly suggest y'all invest in some crypto stocks, S&P 500. I don't know how we got there, but we just got here. I highly suggest everybody start investing and stop saving, because saving ain't gonna get your money nowhere. But anyway, uh, what we're going to next? We're going to do, we're getting to accessories, let's get it. First accessory I'm gonna show off would be, I don't know if y'all can see it, I got there right now. The duck mug, that shit hard, right? Exactly, that's what I like about it. So they painted it, they painted the duck, ah! They painted the duck on here and then they had the duck coming out of the cup to use as the handle. My hands are kind of big, but this is how you, how you will hold it. They had a polar bear version of this. I've been seeing a whole bunch of the polar bears everywhere that's been resold. Cop this, this is gonna be more of a display piece than actual use. I may use it a little, I don't know. I'll probably use it later, but not right now. Dope piece, copped it, sold out, straight like that. Next, uh, what are we gonna show? Oh, damn. I got some pillows, I got some old pillows. Yeah, yeah. So I got uh, both colorways of the duck camo print. Uh, I got the brown and I got the green. So we're gonna start with the brown. This, as you've been watching, if you've been watching my weekly recaps and every time they drop something with this brown um, camo print, this is my favorite more than the green because it's a little bit more subtle. But I had to cop the green as well and the pillows just have both. So you can have both colorways. So I had to cop both of these. And yeah, they are comfortable and they are plush as hell. And they keep like, they really do keep their form. It ain't nothing like one of those cheap pillows you'll buy that like get, like just slowly started getting like less poofy and comfortable. So yeah, these pillows have been holding up for a minute. I've been laying on them a lot. And I've been like laying on this one and my damn, my duck pillow right here a lot. Cause I'll be down here chilling when I get off work. So yeah, they holding up. And I'm glad that I caught these. And I know one of my subscribers hit me up and asked for one of these pillows, but I was like, yeah. I told him I'd sell him one, but now I don't even know, bruh. I don't know. I really don't know if I want to sell them now. <laughs> I'm sorry, bruh. <laughs> I'm keeping it, man. I'm sorry, but I know you can get one of them still on stock, still in stock. I believe it's the green pillow. So, hey, you have to go buy your own, dog. because if you buy from me, I'm charging. Because I really do want to keep this. And, uh, yeah. So, the print on here, you're going to have, if you can look real close, you can tell, like, the different prints that they had. They got within the camo. They have the duck, the heart right there, and different variations of the duck within that camo print. And it says dry alls in it and human made as well. So, yeah, those are the, uh, a must, a must cop. And now some things are starting to make sense a little bit. I kind of got an idea of what's coming out next season, what is upcoming season for Human Made. Because I've seen some stuff, like, I think I posted in one of my previous videos I was talking about, like, I think I posted a screenshot of Nego and somebody else standing in front of like some Human Made stuff. And I'm like, when are they gonna drop that? It didn't drop this season, so I'm thinking it's gonna drop next season. It's like a jean jacket with a Civic Cat on it, I believe. It's either a Civic Cat or a dog on the back of it. So I think that we can expect for next season. But enough talking about that. Let's get to the next item that I cop. So, whew. I hope y'all didn't see that in my hand. But, uh. I got one, well, I got two of these bad boys, 74 liters, the other one down there, I'm not picking it up. But yes, I told y'all I have them cop more of these. When I see them, I'm gonna get them. Well worth the cop. No, I think I got, yeah, I got some stuff in here already. I got my um, work clothes. So, nope, it's the bottom one. Thought it was in that one. But so I've been putting my work clothes in there and some more stuff in the other one that I got because I'm getting tired of like using like drawers and stuff like that. 
And I think it's a little bit easier for me to separate all my stuff and keep it neat and presentable to look at as well. So um, I will be cleaning my closet out next Wednesday, well, this Wednesday, and strain it up, put on my crates in there and put my shoes on top. So I got two of these. I can show you at her. Hold up. Hold on, I wanna show you that part. But yeah, I got one right there. And the bottom one right there. I'm gonna fix that. Oh, they're on my clothes. Yep. But yeah, I got two of them. There we go. I'm all in the camera. God nah, damn. But anyway, so that's it for the crates. I spent a lot of money. Y I spent too much money. And I can show y'all this right here. I got my second paper mache duck. It says human made on the back. And let me show you the difference between the one I got last season compared to this season. As you can see, like the, these are actually like, they ain't ham like painted on. So everybody duck is not gonna be the same. It's gonna be a little bit different. This one right here is a little bit like thicker than this one with the lettering. So decided to, whew, fuck, I'm tired. Woo, it's hot in here, y'all, it's hot. I don't wanna turn the fan on cause it's gonna mess up the audio. But uh, yeah, uh, the lettering again is different than like the other one. So everybody not gonna have the exact same thing. So you don't know if it's real or, I guess real or fake, but I don't mind real, I got my shirt for human made. But anyway, on the front side, it has these little zoom, God damn it, focus. Come on, there it is, oh, there it is. So on the front side, we got these little polka dots and we got the hearts on here as well. And then we got this green little stripe right here with the white lining around it. And again, like with this feathering, it's so good. Like that detail is really good with the feathering. Got some brown, we got some green. We got the human made sticker, we got JD leg legs over there like that. You gotta show that ain't no butthole. Oh, you gotta show the asshole. There ain't no butthole in that. All right, I'll paint one on that. Anyway. <laughs> I paid a lot of money for this, but I'm gonna tell y'all this now. Of course, I bought this stuff over a period of time, not all at once, cause it would be just stupid, but I spent a lot of money. I spent, y'all see it in the damn description. I don't gotta tell you, too much money, straight like that. But I'm a smart man to cut my money, I budget myself. Don't worry, I'm good. I ain't going broke, no time soon. NBA young boy, never going broke. Hey! All right, so what else, what else? We got one more. One more thing to show y'all. Is it one more? Am I missing anything? What? All right, let me get it, I'll be right back. Hold up. So as you all may know, I finally got me an actual human made rug, but it wasn't really the rug that I really, really, really wanted, but I'm like, let me just go ahead and get it while it's here and not miss out. So I decided to get the guy, damn, human made glitch dog. Bro, where you go, bro? Can you see me? You at? Right here. But anyway, yeah, I got the Gliss, I got the Glizzy rug, I got the large. Spent a hell of a lot of money on this thing right here. But I will say, this thing is really like, the quality is A1. A1, like I'll be, trust me, it's A1. I step on, I get out of the bed, perfect. Perfect on my feet. But yeah, it just gave off the illusion of a hot dog on the rug, this says human made on the buns. And you got your goddamn mustard on there. Yeah, that's how I eat my hot dog. Pause. God, it just sounds so wrong, bro. How I eat my hot dog. But how I eat my hot dog is two ways. Pause again. They're gonna be paused out like all up through this. And I ain't even from New York. And they the one that started this. Yeah, just put pause on the screen, just it's flashing. But anyway, um the hell I was about to say. Oh, the way I eat my my <laughs> This is gonna wrong. The way I eat my hot dog, two ways. The basic way I eat it would be ketchup and mustard with onions. That's it. Second way, just chili dog. Just basic ass shit. I don't like all the extra stuff unless it's coming from like a restaurant or something. Onions, bananas, mustard, pickles, mayo. And a little bit of milk. That's what you like? That sounds disgusting. Bananas? On a hot dog. Have y'all put bananas on a hot dog before? Cause that just sounds disgusting, bro. What pickles, onions, bananas and onions and pickles. Bananas and onions and pickles. Hey.
bananas and onions and pickles. Hey, bitch. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hey, anyway. But uh, yeah, I bought all this shit, y'all. I bought all this stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Again, moving forward with these unboxings, I'm just start collecting everything as it come in. And then at the end of the month, I'm just do one big unboxing and just leave it at that. What's up, dog? Anyway, yeah, at the end of the month, I'm just do like one big unboxing. Or I may just do it like this. Do y'all prefer, ah, do y'all prefer, uh, ah, do y'all prefer, <laughs> do y'all prefer me showing the tease off like this? Or do you prefer me unboxing it? Me, I prefer doing it like this because it's less clean enough I have to do because the only thing I do is just take it off the rack and just put it back upstairs in my room in the closet and just put everything back like how I was. But yeah, if y'all prefer unboxings, type one down in the comment section. If y'all prefer this, hit two in the comment section. Just type two down in the comment section. And then I'll know moving forward what y'all would like to see more of within the videos when I do this type of stuff. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. It's good. It feels good to be back. I spent a shit ton of money, but at the same time, I really didn't spend a lot of, I spent a lot of money, but the way I spend money is kind of smart. Which, which, don't, which helped me not break the bank. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe down below. I will catch y'all next video. I don't know what it's gonna be about yet. Yeah, I do. I do know what it's gonna be about. But y'all yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I'm glad to be back. Thank you for the subscribers that have been coming in lately. I'm out. I gotta go edit. See y'all in the next one. Peace.